Seconds out. Round two. Congratulations to Max Verstappen for a stirring victory. We note with interest that the absence of proper champagne did not prevent him from taking part in the podium celebrations this time around. However, the whinging Dutchman continues to show that his temperament is still very much suspect under pressure. Mr. Let Them Race was continuously whinging about the car ahead of him as he tried to induce the stewards into gifting him a position by penalizing the car ahead of him. He complained about the rear lights of the leading Ferrari to start with. Then he complained twice about Charles supposedly crossing the pit lane entry line. Christian Horner at one point had to attempt to rein him in by telling him to calm down, stop complaining, and let the team do their job. Towards the end, he also complained about Charles supposedly gaining an unfair advantage under the double-waved yellows that actually prevented Charles from attacking him. Max's temperament does not augur well for the future. Congratulations to Charles Leclerc for a thrilling contest. He also showed from his congratulatory message to Max at the end of the race that he is a true champion, on and off the track. Perhaps he should not have revealed his DRS trick from Bahrain, but never mind. The driver of the day award is testament to his superior racecraft, which will stand him in good stead. Congratulations to the viewers for not having to listen to Martin Brundle's diatribe during the race. Sky F1 must be feeling the pressure of the public outcry against their obvious Max bias, as Max's main cheerleader, Martin Brundle, was absent from the commentary team. However, even though Jensen Button is pro-Max, he was nevertheless able to be critical of Max in a way that Brundle had repeatedly declined to do. Maybe we can begin to hope for a balanced commentary on races, rather than the Verstappen hype train driven by Brundle. It was interesting to hear another Maxipad, Paul de Resta, hoping that Mercedes and their drivers will be able to join the fight. Just maybe, Sky are beginning to understand that they should let the commentary reflect the race, rather than hyping Max. Unfortunately, it would appear that Max has learnt from the mistakes that he made in Bahrain, which Brundle gaslighted. This time around, Max obeyed the team orders to save his attack till the closing stages of the race, contrary to his initial instincts to go for it much earlier. This was against his declaration in Bahrain, that he would no longer obey team orders, because he wrongly concluded that they had cost him the undercut. He also readjusted to the Charles DRS dummy second time around, even though he failed to note it in Bahrain, where he succumbed three times in succession. To recall, these were two errors which Brundle gaslighted in his Bahrain post-race interview and column. Charles Leclerc, however, continues to show that he is looking like the man to beat this season, as he again demonstrated a combination of speed and racecraft that champions are made of. He successfully sold the DRS dummy to Max yet again, which caused Jensen Button to opine that so far this season, when under pressure, Charles had got the measure of Max in the close encounters. The evidence suggests that Charles has the cooler head and better temperament. There were no radio messages of Charles, getting hot and bothered under the collar, in comparison to numerous messages of Max, struggling to keep his temperament in check, as he was fetching throughout the race. In addition, Max was fortunate to survive locking his brakes towards the end of the race as he finally caught onto the DRS dummy. Any suggestion that Max had enjoyed the high-speed dueling the same way Charles had is undermined by the whinging that Max did from the lights to the flag. The evidence also suggests that Ferrari work better as a team than Red Bull, who look like they will struggle to keep Max and Helmet in check as the competition heats up. Forza Ferrari 